Episode 3, Loading from a File. Um, now I'm not going to actually run this until we're done, probably. Uh, okay. Now let's set up a few more things. Uh, so let's say we want to actually uh, warp to where we just created that, uh, that warp from. Uh, so let's say... actually create this above it and say if args dot length is equal to one so if there's only one argument uh, that would usually mean you're warping there um, but it also could be something else um, so and args zero if it does not equal because we'll have a few commands so uh, list is one of them here or args zero uh, equals So if it doesn't equal either one of those characters, then it's definitely you're trying to warp somewhere. Okay. Okay. I did this a little different. All right. Uh, so we want to create another method uh, right here. Uh, we'll call it private uh, list string uh, get warps. Okay, then inside here, uh, we'll return all the warps in a list fashion. Um, so this is where we'll be doing the reading function. Um, so let's do a list of string. Warps equals green in a row list. Perfect. So I think this is how oh, I just have no point to do that. Enough. Um, and then we get a file reader file uh, file name and actually. This. Uh, the only reason I don't put this at the very top is because it would try to initialize this variable uh, before it was ever initialized, um, which means it would cause it to instantly crash uh, because the player variable is actually not in initialized until uh, you type a command, uh, which we will fix a little bit later. Um, okay, so here we are, and then that's the file name is the same as the one we wrote, and we'll do a try catch, <laughs> and we'll try to set the file equal to new file reader, then we'll put in the file location plus file name. Okay. I spelled reader wrong. There we go. Uh, and then we will br equals new buffered 
meter file. Okay, we'll catch. Oops. Seal. There we go. Uh, and we'll catch an IO exception. LSD. Perfect. Oops. Actually, the first exception will be a file not found exception, LBD. And then <clears throat> inside here, if we cannot find the file, then we will create the file. Uh, so this means that you know you have not created a warp yet. So, so text writer. We'll create an empty one. And this will also have to be surrounded by a catch. Um, and if it does, we'll return right here arrays dot as list. And then this will return no warps saves. Sure. <clears throat> All of that should be fine. Uh, but if there's something else, so just a generic exception, we will print the stack trace. Perfect. Um, but other than that, we'll read the file. Excuse me. So that should all be fine. Uh, so if it successfully reads the file, um, the file was found, then we will read the lines. Uh, so try uh, string line equals br dot read line. Uh, below this, we will catch. IO exception. Okay. <clears throat> Handle that a little later. And while uh, line does not equal null, so while there's something to read, essentially, uh, we will create a string array of all of the items. So string array called text. And that will equal one, equal one dot split, and then split by the character. Now, if you remembered, we put a colon after each variable. So we'll split it by the colon. <clears throat> uh, then we'll get the block pause. And actually, I will create uh, individual variables for this to make it easier. Uh, so we will say int x, y, and z again uh, to make it more readable. And I'll do it on their own lines. So x equals uh, double dot parse double, <coughs> and then that'd be text. The second variable. Uh, this should be uh, double dot int. Because if you remember, the um, the thing takes uh, the block pause takes in a double, not an integer. Okay, so we'll save that. Uh, just to get rid of this error, we'll which go all the way down and type return. Whoops. <clears throat> that way we can do some formatting and saving and stuff. Okay. Uh, so that's the X. Although we do want to replace a few things. Um, now just to be safe, because of the way we're doing this, um, a few things could still be in there. Uh, for example, the X or the Y or the Z or the, you know, something. So we will say uh, dot replace. Replace the X with nada. Oops. 
and let's copy that a few times. We'll replace the Y with the Z. And if for some weird reason the world is there, we'll replace that too. This just saves from errors being born. That's good. We'll say Y. We'll say Z. Actually, I'll leave this like that. Uh, so the Y. Uh, that will be. I did not write this the way I should have last. Okay, so it'll be three and Z and D will be oops, four. Okay. And the int dimension that will equal int integer dot parse int. And then we'll do text, and that will be the fifth in last element. <clears throat> uh, and really, all is that will be here, possibly, if it is world. Sure. Um, and we'll replace that with another. Okay, and then this dot warps dot put, and we'll put the zero argument there, um, and we will replace not all. Is we'll replace the colon with nothing, that's fair. Uh, then as the value, oh yeah, we didn't actually create one. So let's create walk pause pause equals to walk pause x y z there. So in here, we'll create a new and dot simple entry. We'll put pause and um, dimension right there. Okay, that was a lot of typing. Um, okay. And we'll grab uh, this thing right here. Warps dot add text. Um, okay, and we don't actually have to add all, all this crap um, because it won't actually crash if for some reason that is there. Um, Okay, and if you notice here, I put this dot warps, so it's not referring to this one, it's actually referring to the, the map, not this. So don't get confused, I suppose. Um, okay, now we'll handle the caching. Okay, so. Um, here. Uh, so, yes, catch IO exception. Uh, then we'll also catch a null pointer exception and I'll just catch a generic exception. Um, and if it does uh, throw an exception, uh, we want to, we don't want it to continue, uh, so we'll type in break. Uh, oops, oops. 
Rip the stack, trade it. Oh, well, I didn't mean to put that there. I meant. We actually probably want to put this stuff uh, in a try catch because uh, this stuff can throw a lot of errors. Sorry, I jumped ahead there. Try catch. Say if this catches a null pointer exception, e. There we go. Or if this catch. A regular exception e. There we go. That's what I meant. Then I'll say e dot print stack trace. And we'll break. The same thing here. Oops. All right. And then, if all of this is good. We will read the next line. So line equals br dot read next line. Uh, okay. We can also say up here if line equals not that kind of equals uh, line dot is empty. Then we'll want to do line dot uh, line equals br. This way, if something happens where there's just blank space, it'll skip. Okay. So that is a very long and convoluted. It's kind of confusing. I get it. Um, uh, yeah. Then at the end of all of this so at the end of the uh, the while loop uh, we want to close it perfect uh, then at the very end we'll want to uh, return warps sure Alright, that is a lot. So, now we will be able to accurately get the warps, which will help for like if we want to list what warps are available. So yeah. Okay, now let's actually create, uh, this one we will have to create a separate class to actually uh, handle teleportation. So let's say, uh, private warp two. Oops, not what I meant. Private void warp two. Uh, and then we will let's get the, the name, I suppose. And if we want a player, uh, let's see, player. Um, okay. <clears throat> right. uh, then we want to we want to grab the player as an entity player multiplayer. And it's just an entity player MP. Uh, then we'll call this player. And if entity players equals null, do that check again. We'll set the player uh, equal to entity player MP with player. Perfect. And at the very end, we'll handle. Uh, like if you want to do this to another player, essentially. All right. <clears throat> so if 
uh, warps got contains key. Uh, then we'll grab the name. So basically, if the warp that you typed in you want to go to, it exists. <sighs> then we'll warp you there. Uh, else, we want to get player. Uh, actually, write on this. So we'll want to send the player a message. Text formatting dot red, and we'll want to say uh, warp not found. And we'll give what they said uh, name dot, and we'll throw it in all caps. Perfect. Uh, also, when you're creating a warp, you probably want to make it all lowercase, uh, just to make it so it's easier uh, to use. Uh, okay, so when you want to warp somewhere, uh, you'll want to, uh, let's see, <clears throat> you want to grab the the X, the Y, the Z, and this does have to be a double. So double X, Y, Z, and uh, the X will equal double. So you're casting it as a double. Uh, and we'll do warps.bit. Name uh, dot get key dot get x. We'll copy and paste that to y and z, so we'll get the y and the z. Uh, and okay, so we'll create a block pause from that, and we'll call this old block. Uh, old pause. So this will be, uh, well, actually, no, hold on. So we will want to get the old position, though, before we set the position. So get the old block pause, and this will be get player, oops, actually, no, it will be this variable. So player dot uh, get position. <sighs> and then uh, we want to get like if the, we're d like teleporting to a different dimension, uh, we we'll want to get the old dimension. So int uh, old dim, and this is actually for later use. Uh, so this equals player dot get uh, entity world dot provider dot get dimension perfect okay uh, and then we will teleport the player now this this is gonna be this is gonna have to be a completely different class or should be at least just because there's a lot that goes into this. Not as a lot as this class, but 